This is the Wind Tunnel 2 Rewind Upright Vacuum Sweeper. After a few years of use, it began to have issues powering on. After further assessment, I found it to have a faulty switch. I'm going to show how to replace the power switch. Begin by purchasing a new switch. I use the model number to search for it online. I found this one on Amazon.com. Be sure to unplug the sweeper before taking it apart. In order to replace the switch, the main back panel will have to be removed. Begin by releasing the hose from its cradle and lay it to the side. Towards the bottom you will see where the hose is contained. This is called the hose wrap. Also note the hose release assembly. Detach the hose release assembly using a Phillips head screwdriver by removing these two screws. Then detach the hose wrap by removing this screw. Once the hose wrap has been removed, move the hose to the side as well as the two pieces and their hardware. Removing these pieces will expose three more screws. Remove these screws and set aside. You may want to use a drill driver to speed up this process. As you travel up the panel, you will find five more screws that span the center. Remove these screws next. I found that the top two screws of the five were set a little deeper than the others. I used a handheld screwdriver to reach these. Next, find the two screws located on each side of the switch. Remove these next and set aside. The main back panel can now be removed. Now, the wires connecting to the switch terminals can now be accessed. On a side note, here's a look at how the wires are placed within the cavity. This is important to know because these must be positioned back in their place towards the reassembly. Return to the back of the switch and pull the wire connectors from the switch terminals in this manner. This completely frees up the back panel, which makes it easier to replace the switch. Once again, here's the switch that I purchased online. I'll explain its anatomy in order to best understand how it installs. Here's a side view of the switch. On the top, you have a red toggle that turns it off and on. On the sides, you have the locking tabs that can be squeezed together in order to take the old one out and snap the new one in. On the bottom are the terminals. The wires will simply be plugged back into these using their connectors. The red one goes on the lateral terminal and the black one goes on the medial terminal. Now access the back of the old switch. Using a small flathead screwdriver, press in one of the tabs to release it from the housing. Repeat this on the other tab while pressing the switch with your thumb. This will release it from its position. Now flip the back panel over exposing the outside plane and position the new switch in this orientation. Press it in using your thumb to lock it into place. Next, flip the panel over to access the back of the switch once again. Then, connect the wires to the terminals in this manner.
The wiring harness can now be tucked back into its cavity while returning the back panel to its original location. Secure the panel back into place with the screws from top to bottom. Then, position the hose back into place, securing the lower hose wrap. Next, return the hose release assembly to its original location and secure with the screws. Finally, position the hose into the upper hose wrap and lock it into its cradle. The vacuum sweeper is now ready to use.